Hey guys, welcome back to GuardCube and today I have a really interesting and exciting video not only for you but also for me because today I have the opportunity to interview TNL Cubing. So if you don't know Tom, he is an Australian cubing YouTuber and he makes some really great content, especially cubing comedy and skits and his style is very entertaining and original so I'm really happy that I'm going to be able to interview him. So thank you very much for letting me have you on Tom and we're going to get straight into it with the first question. Okay, so first, could you just tell us a little bit about the history of your channel, how you started and when you started and how your channel developed from a tiny thing to the really great channel that it is today? Yeah, well, I started my channel about four and a half years ago now. And in the beginning, it was definitely a very, very slow burn. And for good reason, to be quite honest and to be frank, I wasn't making good videos. So, uh, you know, naturally, not many people were interested until I started making, uh, you know, higher quality videos and more creative ones such as my sketches or my reviews. And yeah, that really did help the growth of my channel. Some of my uh, popular videos came then and I started to grow more of an audience. All right. So sort of linked, your quality and setup look absolutely amazing now. So could you just talk us through the gear you use and how you achieve those really nice results in your videos? I do get asked this a lot and I still think my quality is uh, far from perfect. I got a lot to improve on, but at the moment, yeah, I have a couple of lights and some stuff in the background. And yeah, I use this Rode NT-USB microphone, which I've had for a long time uh, and it goes pretty well. I think the main problem is my room's quite big and doesn't have good acoustics. So that's something to work on. As I've said before, I also use the Canon 60 Mark II with a couple of different lenses. And I edit on Premiere Pro, uh, so even though all of it's not necessary, I am very thankful for the gear that I have, and I do uh, pride myself in constantly improving my quality, so yeah. And once you film that with editing, do you generally have a specific plan before the edit, or do you just kind of go with the flow and see what happens? That's hard to say. It does depend, and how I make my videos does change depending on what type of video it is. Uh, for example, you know, my reviews, I sometimes have a script, sometimes I don't. But most of my editing, I would say, I just sort of go with the flow, see what works. I just try some new effects or a new editing style in every video. And eventually, uh, you know, I improve and learn some new stuff. Okay, so now we're going to talk a bit more about cubing more generally. And um, living in Australia, you must have got to meet some pretty great cubers. Uh, lots of very famous cubers in Australia. So out of all the people you've met, who's your favourites, would you say? Yeah, uh, there are a lot of awesome people in Australia and for that reason, uh, that's nearly impossible to pick. Uh, if we're going off just like famous people, uh, Nathan Wilson, Felix J, I've met all of them, Jack Kai, Ting Man, you know, they're all just such wonderful people. That's why it's so hard to pick. Again, they're all so amazing, but I'll just say shout out to Jack Kai because uh, he's such a nice guy. Yeah, I always get the impression that Jack seems like a really nice guy and... Um, that's great. All right. So uh, next up, what is your favorite WCA or non WCA puzzle? So this means like, what's your favorite actual puzzle? So like an individual cube overall. That is very hard. Uh, I'm not that into non WCA puzzles. Uh, so it would have to be between like the GAN 11 or the MGC 4x4. I like the GAN 11, however, I will have to go with the MGC 4x4. It's just such a nice 4x4. I love the event. Uh, and I really couldn't hope for anything better in a 4x4. It's just perfect for me and it has a nice feel. I like YJ cubes. Yeah, I also have both of those cubes and I main them and they are pretty great. The MGC 4x4 is pretty good for me. Although personally, I don't think it's the best 4x4 that I've tried. It does work pretty well. So I'm pretty sure that you're sub 10. Um, could you just give some tips for people on how to get sub 10 or any advice you have on just generally improving? Uh, yeah. I am, however, I don't think you should take advice from me because it took me way too long to get here and I still don't practice that much so I'm not improving necessarily uh, at much of a rate anymore. But I will give you guys some advice. Uh, you should check out other people's videos. <laughs> Jperm, Brody the Cuba, Ari is sleeping, Jaden McNeil and there's too many to name and to be honest I'm kind of out of the loop of this sort of stuff because I'm not constantly trying to improve. However, there are so many amazing tutorials out there and just little tips that you can take into account and work on yourself. But I think ultimately just find out what you're not good at and try and fix it. <laughs> yeah, it's a hard thing to do, but 
just have fun. All right, so back on to YouTube related questions now. Obviously you're sponsored by Daily Puzzles and that uh, agreement seems to work really, really well for you. So could you just tell us a bit about how you got sponsored and could you give any advice that you might have for smaller creators who are looking to get sponsored? You know it, uh, yeah, they're an amazing store. And I believe at the start, I just reached out to them and asked if they uh, wanted to you know, collaborate or send me a cube. And yeah, they were happy to. And it started with, you know, just small orders and I would make review. And they obviously like my content and I really like their store. It's so great to see such a passionate store and like someone who's actually innovating in the Australian market at least. Uh, so I would be very happy to support them even if I wasn't sponsored. Uh, however, I'm very thankful for that. And my advice to get sponsored is to probably not worry about it too much. Just enjoy the videos you're making. Uh, build a bit of an audience and then you know maybe find a company where you can offer them something and they can offer you something but yeah all right and uh which other cubing youtubers do you watch lately i've been quite busy with school and doing my own sort of videos and studying a lot uh however i do get a bit of time to watch youtube uh some of it's cubing a lot of it's not though uh in cubing at least the channels i do regularly watch are my enemies cubehead and tingman uh Definitely not because I enjoy it. It's uh, solely to uh, study my enemies. You know, you got to keep them close. Other than those two, lately uh, I found He's a Cuba, a channel I really like, as well as Cubix and Jack Kai I've been watching for a while. Yeah, I don't get a lot of time to watch them, but when I do, uh, those are the Cubas I watch and I do enjoy them. Okay, so if you could tell small creators just one thing, what would it be? In the most polite way possible, I would say stop making videos like you are a small channel. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know, you'd look at people like Cubehead who was making videos just with his phone and only had 300 subscribers, but he was innovating, making unique videos and like putting a lot of effort into each one. And you see how like, you know, nine times out of 10, that propels someone's channel if they actually make really unique things. I know for a lot of people, you're young like me, you don't have that much time, and maybe you just don't have that many good ideas, but to be honest, uh, if you don't think outside the box and do something different to someone else, you probably can't expect to be bigger than a small channel, uh, at least in my opinion, but I think most of all, uh, just have fun. If you're having fun and you're still a small channel, it won't matter to you because, you know, the content is more important than the following sometimes, so... Just have fun. Now, I do think that's really important. I, I personally, with my channel, I try to make videos that I don't see other people making. Uh, I try to make myself seem good for any level, not just for the level of a small channel. And I do think that that is very important as well as just having fun. So living in England, uh, I don't really know how things have been around the world, especially not in Australia. So could you tell us a bit about how COVID-19 and lockdown have affected you? To be honest, it didn't affect me very much at all, which I'm very thankful for. Initially, when the whole world had started to go into lockdown, Australia followed, uh, at least where I am. Uh, it was only five weeks off of school, working from home. And then I was actually just back to school as normal. We had to wear masks and be a bit more careful uh, this year in Brisbane because there was actually a lockdown near where I am uh, just a month ago for the first time, uh, nearly a year after the pandemic started. But thankfully, I'm happy to say uh, it's been pretty good. Recently, we had the incredible match TNL Cubing versus Cubehead. So could you just tell us a bit about how you felt after that epic victory? I feel like the video didn't do justice of how excited and pumped I was uh, because my body just wasn't really showing it. I was just shaking and uh, very, very happy that I didn't have to bleach my hair. Um, I was obviously happy to beat him and, uh, you know, sort of settle the rivalry. But most of all, I was happy to keep my my brown hair great yeah honestly it looks like really good fun and um cube head looks pretty funny with his bleached hair so finally could you tell everyone one thing about yourself that you think people would be surprised by something interesting hmm. <laughs> wow that is that's pretty amazing honestly i i feel like languages like japanese and chinese just seem so difficult to me um, and in England, we don't really learn them. Usually in mainstream school, we mainly learn European languages. So that is pretty cool. And thank you so much for letting me talk to you today. It's been really, really interesting, very eye-opening, and I've learned some very helpful tips. So thank you very much for having me. And everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video too. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up, bop that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Comment your thoughts down below. 
so thank you so much for watching guys thank you so much to tnl cubing and subscribe, subscribe to, to god, god cube, cube.